All right, welcome back. I'm gonna show you three different types of math for three different types of personalities. But of course, you know, subject to your approval. It's whatever you think works. And I'm gonna talk about a fourth math if I remember. <coughs> Gotta remember. Okay, so today let me show you a product that I did on a short. It is the SumSwap math game. So you can take a look at that short. I wanted to give you a piece of advice. Um, I do sometimes give piece of, pieces of advice on my shorts as well. And one of them is, because I do try to film, I do film and release one video or short a day. If your children come to you and say, I'm bored, I'm bored, normally I would say, oh, well, I have some chores you can do. Or, oh, what about doing this or this or this or this or this? Which, by the way, has never been effective. There's never once been a child who's been like, that's a great idea. I'm gonna go build with Lego. No. Like if it came from you, it's not as good as an idea they come up with themselves. That's just a general rule for people. So to say, I heard Dr. Amon, I was watching one of his videos and uh, it said, he said, if children come to you and say, oh, I'm so bored, say, what are you gonna do about that? Or what do you think you can do about that? So that's just an idea I had and I wanted to pass it along, or he had, and I wanted to pass it along. So let's talk, let's talk math. I know, welcome back to the world's messiest room. It's my homeschool room. This is my living room. This is also our dining room. We pretty much do everything here. Okay, so the first math I wanna to talk to you about, I'm talking to you about, we're talking generally mastery math. There's only one math curriculum that I know of that does mastery and spiral. Although you can do with one of the curriculums here, there is a way to do both spiral and master with it. Spiral is when you're like, okay, let's learn to add. All right, let's learn to subtract. Okay, let's learn about time. Okay, let's go back to addition. This time we're gonna try something different. Okay, let's do measuring. So that is spiral. I grew up on spiral. I don't like spiral. I was never very good at spiral. So if you're like that and you're intimidated by math, then you perhaps may feel more comfortable teaching a mastery. Mastery, so spiral's what in North America, what we grew up on, but mastery is what in the countries that are the best at math in the entire world, they teach spiral. So one of those math curriculums, oh, there's only one that teaches both. And that would be the, why do I always forget it? Math with confidence. Math with confidence, I've done a couple years of math with confidence. And what I liked about it is that you're bonding with your child. It does mastery, it does spiral. It's made by a woman who has a dual PhD in education and mathematics, I believe from Harvard. So you're in quite good company with that curriculum. And every year she releases like the next year up. So I think they're up to sixth or seventh grade that they have math with confidence curriculums. What I don't recommend it for is if you have more than one child, like you, so it's individual games, right? So you're playing games with that one child. These are not math with confidence, but you're playing individual games with that child. Okay, great. That's fine, it's just, it takes time. It doesn't take much time. The games are supposed to be like 15 minutes. The problem is when you sit down with kids and you're like, hey, let's play a game. Sometimes your kids are like, all right, now let's do it this way. And it's not an easy way to like end it and move on. So if you have more than one kid, just personal preference. So that being said, great curriculum and the majority of the curriculum is in the games. The workbook you do like one page a day, that's not really the bulk of the learning. Unlike these other curriculums, the bulk of the learning is in the games that you play. Okay, so let's talk another curriculum. If you want an open and go curriculum, look, it comes with the answer keys. It comes with the tests. It's the same price as Math of Confidence. Math of Confidence, as well as all these other curriculums that, no, two of these curriculums that I'm gonna show you, all their materials are pretty much included with the price of the curriculum. So you're talking 50 bucks for about this for a year, comes with Math A, Math B, which are your two workbooks, plus tests, plus your answer key, which we all know how important an answer key is, especially in math, but really in all subjects, because some curriculums don't have answer keys, but most math is what I do. Okay. So let me show you in this curriculum. This curriculum is perfect if you have a child, if you want a curriculum that is open and go, where you just 
open the, now there are videos and stuff you can watch if you want. Never done it, never watched any videos, never needed to. Everything you need is in this little book. Let's take a look. So this is the most open and go curriculum for math I've ever seen. This one you can do spiral. It's intended, so look how it starts off. It starts off, so, so this is like, so it starts off in grade one, right? So this is the kindergarten. So this is just a kindergarten math review. Do you know how to write? Do you understand number lines? But do you see how colorful it is? So even though it's like primarily book learning, it is so colorful. The downside of it is, see, so look, you've got one and three is four, right? So very, make two groups in a total. So this is starting in the grade one. The problem is, is as you go through it, so if you want it open and go, that's great. But it can be spiral because you don't do all these questions. So sometimes I, I, at one point I would put like a red dot next to the ones to do. As they get older, you can say, you know, pick four out of this place. Or if they knew them well enough, then they didn't have to do them all kind of thing. But it's very thorough, right? So this book is kind of all addition. And then the other book is kind of subtraction with some other stuff mixed in. But the problem is, is when you get up here is... It just can seem very intimidating, all these questions. If you have a child who's ADHD, let me tell you, or any child, there are some kids that where they open this up, and this can seem very overwhelming. Because it gets crazier. It gets crazier. You're like, what? Yeah, I mean, again, very dynamic, considering it only has a couple colors. I think we can agree on that. However, it's just we're getting into, there's just so many questions, which is why you don't have to do them all. I knew a, a mom, I thought she said in my comments that she just picked out a couple questions for the day and put them on cue cards and worked that way so that they didn't have to see all of this because it can be so intimidating. Yeah, it can be so intimidating to have to do that. Okay, so you got it. Math Mammoth, great curriculum though, great curriculum. Let's talk another great curriculum, but this one for autism. This one is generally recommended for autism. I've used it um with an autistic child works wonderful works wonderful you put on a dvd this is matthew c another book that is not intimidating because look at this look at this let me show you it's not intimidating because even at the beginning you're going to place the matching block on the picture then say and write the number so it's all about build say write with these materials here. These are the manipulators, the inter inter integer block kit. You have the hundreds, the tens, I assume nines, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. The only problem that you could foresee is that all these blocks, like each individual one is one. Each, so this would be a two, right? Because it has a one and one. It doesn't matter the color. So as long as your child's able to understand that the color is almost irrelevant, it's just so that it's easier for you. Just every once in a while, there might be a child who's like, well, blue equals this or something. When, no, that's not really how it works, right? So, but that's not a very common thing. So you would put on the DVD, count, match, and say. So it starts off so easy. And this is, this is the alpha. Because, so this can start, and it's done alpha, beta, but there's even a primary, I believe it's called primary before this, but you don't have to do that one to start the alpha. Cause I just went right to alpha and it's easy enough. See, build, match, write, and say. So this plus whatever, I don't know how to do this cause I didn't read the thing. Cause there is a teacher's manual, but I, I don't find I use the teacher's manual really because there's a DVD and we just stopped using it. We switched to a different curriculum that I'm going to tell you about now. So again, good curriculum, right? Good curriculum, not a problem. The integer kit is pretty pricey, but you can buy them used, relatively inexpensive. So what we use now is primary mathematics. There's a home instruction guide, has a lot of games. This is what Singapore uses. So this is the original Singapore. There's four different Singapore options, but this to me is the best one. This to me is hands down the best one. I have reasons for that primarily a lot of the others were made to adjust to American standards and I didn't want that. I wanted the original high quality one that produced the children that had, like this does mental math, this does, um, it, it's just, it's told in story form. And not only that, for kids who have ADHD, this works amazing to do like one page a day. Cause let me show you some pages. So in the beginning, it starts off pretty easy with one page a day. I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you one that hasn't been too, so this is second book. So this is part B. So it does increase with the amount of questions. 
but still it's not a lot of questions per page and it's not a lot of color in the workbook. So you can do one page or two pages per day depending on their age. And this is right here, look at that. This is the textbook. So it's very colorful, very bright. And then it tells you at the bottom, it's like workbook exercise here. So if you take a look in this video here, I did a short of it. I'm gonna show you a very brief Unless I can actually show you, I can probably actually show you right here. So here we're talking about missing numbers. Okay, so this was, so this I sit down and I read at lunch or at breakfast, I sat down and I was like, okay, 29 and one make 30, 29 plus one, there's 29 and there's one, right? And then ask, and then, okay, 30 and 34. So it's just got a bunch of different, almost, I don't know, combinations. I get 10 and 10, cause we're working on grouping. This was, it's kind of a review for us, but just want to make sure everyone gets it. Grouping and grouping, 10, 20, and that. But also 10 and 10 that way as well, plus 7, right? But then also you could do it this way, 10, 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, right? So all different ways of grouping is what the essentially this lesson is. And then it says go workbook exercise 13. So let's go in here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So grouping... Do you know what I'm saying? Like very basic and very simple, very easy. 20, 24. So it just, it creates groups. It creates stories along with that carrots. It's showing you all the different, just because something like over here where you have, okay, it's going to be a square. Well, what if it's not a square? What if it's a carrot? What if it's this? Generally, when you see things grouped, they go for tens. All right. So you see that. So for example, my kids would do, um, they'd have to do exercise. 10, so every day during a school day, you have to do math and reading to me. Those are your individual subjects. So that would be this and this would be one page that they have to do. You know what I mean? Like, not, like one section they have to do. So that is what we're using currently is the primary mathematics. And I love it. I love it because it also has mental math. Also has mental math, not in the textbook, in the homeschool student book. So this is, I've showed you, I've showed you my system before, but I could show you again if you want. This is the teacher's manual. And so this is the mental math you do with them. Yeah. And it's got the answers for it, which I like because I mean, that's fine. Even if you didn't have the answers, but you know, your mom, you don't need that extra work. Okay. Some days, some days you didn't get to have your full coffee. And even if you did, you're like, huh? Wait, what was that? You don't want to sit there and be figuring it out. You're past that stage in life. But however, there you go. And uh, I, hope, I hope that helps make your decision as to what math to use a little easier. Okay, bye-bye. Have a great day and tune in tomorrow. Darn it.